It's Wednesday the 3rd of August. Here we go. Happy Wednesday, Sydney. Morning, Jessie May, Eva. Hello, boys. MG, your glorious man. There's a bit of a... Bit of interest in your old mate Volandis this morning. <laughs> oh, Volandi. Perite, what have you done? Don't go to war you with idiots. Volandis. <laughs> no one missed the rugby league. It's going to happen. It's about to explode. What's the front? The, read there, babe, Pagey. The front page of the paper today Here is, they are. Whoa. Volandis and Perite. Dominic Perite has reneged on a promise to provide about $200 million worth of funding for suburban rugby league grounds. The losers here are Manly at Brookie, the Sharks at Cronulla and the Tigers at Leichhardt. He's pulling that money. It's being put elsewhere and Volandis is not happy and he's talking about taking the grand final up to Brisbane as punishment now, for the New South well, Wales well, Premier. Yeah, look, these that's them fighting words, aren't they? And this is probably the first time since Peter Volandis has been the boss of our game, which I'm, well, I'm going to disagree with him. Um, well, I, I think that if we look down on exactly what's happened in the last 12 months, as far as the floods go and COVID, and the last thing we need is $200 million spent on stadiums. You know, we've got football grounds that we can watch footy at already. We've got Combank where we can play games. More than one club can pay the, play there. I mean, it's the, the, the guys and girls who are out of their house because of floods, up to you know, 1,500 people still without um, any roof over their head, they need the money more than anything. And I think, I don't give a damn. And I look... If you disagree with me, one triple three five three. I don't give a damn where the grand finals played. Mm. There's eight million people in New South Wales. Eighty thousand people can go to the grand final. That's one percent. Me and my family, no matter where it is, we'll be watching at home, and the viewership will be through the roof, like it always is. I think we've got to put rugby league second in this instance. We've got to put the people of New South Wales number one. And they're the flood victims. They're the COVID victims. These are the, the interest rate victims that we'll talk about later. I mean, come on. $200 hospitals, million. Dollars. Hospitals, Hosp- MG, are Pagey. strong, but they don't have Hosp- enough beds. I Pagey. love Pagey. Pagey's like, I've got a humanitarian piece of input. Hospitals, Pagey. <laughs> no, you know what it is? Hospitals. I'm a Roosters fan. We've got a new billion-dollar stadium <laughs> opening in a month. What do I care? <laughs> do you think, so is the money either going to be, you know, as Pagey says, with the hospitals or the stadiums? Is that where they're saying the money is going? Or are they saying that that money will then be distributed? You know, They're not sure where it will be in the future. The majority is going to the flood victims, which yeah. uh, Liz, in particular, Lismore, which, it's, which they should. It should. Their, their town's copped it four times this year. A lot of, yeah. lot, of, lot of New South Wales are doing really, really, really hard. Four times in one year, copping flooding. I mean, the, the, as you're asking them, ask them people right now, where do you think this money should go to? Mm. A new stadium for, you know, the Tigers and the Sharks or, the, or even the Panthers. They should put theirs on hold as well for the time being until these, these flood victims and everyone else is looked after.